Hi, and welcome back to the e-learning series on BSF BioWaste Processing. This module in the chapter BSFL Conversion will focus on conditioning of BSF larvae. After watching this module, you will be able to understand why it's important to condition the BSF larvae. You can apply the step-by-step -step process of perching, and you can apply the step-by-step -step process of sanitizing. And finally, you will be able to select the most suitable option to condition the larvae in your case. Conditioning describes the processes which condition the larvae for further processing or for direct selling. Conditioning means in this video cleaning and washing of the larvae. We will show you two ways of conditioning your larvae, perching and sanitizing. While after perching the larvae are still alive, sanitizing kills the larvae. So why is this conditioning step important? As you learned in the waste treatment stage, the larvae feed on bio-waste. Harvesting then separates the residue from the larvae. However, after completing the process, some residue particles will remain stuck to the larvae and the guts of the larvae will still contain material which has not been excreted yet. Typically, the larvae are sold as animal feed products, either alive or in a post-processed form. For both cases, conditioning of the larvae is a requirement to increase the product purity and quality. Remaining residue could complicate the post-processing operations as well as negatively affect the end product quality. But it's important to note here that both described procedures do not necessarily fully free the larvae from microorganisms or any contamination, which was in the waste source and might be transmitted to the larvae during their growth phase and while they were in feeding on the waste. Within this module, we are going to introduce you to two options of conditioning. The first option is the perching operation. There, fresh larvae are first washed with clean water to remove remaining residue. And then the larvae are left in a perching bed in a dry material, like for example, cocoa peat for a few hours. During these hours, larvae will partly empty their gut. Then the second operation we're going to show you is the sanitizing operation. There, fresh larvae are first dipped in hot water for 60 seconds. We call this also blanching. And then the larvae are washed. The hot water kills the larvae immediately and larvae will empty part of their gut content. In a washing step, remaining residue is then washed off the larvae. It is important to mention that sanitizing does not mean that the larvae will be free of microorganisms. Sanitizing is only a washing step, not a sterilizing step. We will start with showing you how to do the perching operation. For this, you need the following equipment. A bin, a plastic tube rack and a washing net for washing the larvae. And you will need water, a bulk scale, dry cocoa peat and a perching bed. In the end, you will need a sieve to sieve the larvae from the cocoa peat. Place the plastic tube rack inside the waste bin. Place the washing net inside the waste pit and fix it on the side. Then add 10 kg of freshly harvested larvae onto the net. Wash the larvae with clean water until all remaining dirt and residue is washed off. This may take three to five minutes. Then place the wet larvae on the perching bed. Add for every 10 kg of larvae you add, 1 kg of cocoa peat on top of the wet larvae. And then leave the larvae for 3 to 4 hours. After these 3 to 4 hours, you will see that the larvae dried off and are mostly separating itself from the cocoa peat. So you could directly scoop off the larvae. Or you can also collect the larvae and the cocoa peat together and sieve them to remove the cocoa peat. Now we are going to show you how to do the second operation, the sanitizing operation. You will need the following equipment. A pot for boiling the hot water. To heat up the water you will need a gas stove, a gas connector pipe, a gas cylinder and a pan holding stand. You will also need a dipping spoon with a mesh size of 3 to 4 millimeters. Then for the washing you will need a bin, a washing net, a plastic tube rack and water. Start with heating up the water until it reaches a temperature of at least 90 degrees. 
In the meantime, prepare the washing setup. Place the plastic rack into the waste bin. Place the washing net inside the waste bin and fix it on the side. When the water reaches 90 degrees, you can start blanching the larvae. Fill the dipping spoon with freshly harvested larvae and dip them into the hot water for around 60 seconds. Then add the larvae onto the washing net. After all larvae are blanched, wash the larvae with clean water. These larvae are ready for post-processing. To find out which of the two operations we showed you within this module suits best for your BSF site, let's quickly compare the two output products, purged larvae and sanitized larvae. Purged larvae are still alive, whereas sanitized larvae are already dead. Both products do not really have a shelf life, as the purged larvae will quickly turn into pre -pupae. Sanitized larvae will decompose and decay very fast due, their, due to their high moisture content and high microbial load. Purging is a good practice for selling live larvae. For example, if you would like to sell them to farmers close to the site, they're especially interested in live larvae. But it's important to purge the larvae before to ensure a waste-free and clean and pure product. Sanitizing is a good practice for post-processing, as the larvae are also killed in the, this blanching step. This facilitates the further post-processing step, as for example drying. Drying live larvae is difficult, as it takes a while until the larvae die, and the larvae still move around for the first minutes. The quicker the killing time, the better for the animal and also for the end product as stress can negatively influence the product quality. Therefore, subsequent processing is not recommended for the purged larvae, but is immediately required for sanitized larvae. Before we end this module, we would like to ask you some refreshing questions. Question number one. You want to sell BSF larvae live. What conditioning operation do you choose? The perching operation. Sanitizing kills the larvae. Second question. You forgot to condition your larvae. What can be consequences when you post-process the larvae afterwards? Dirt may contaminate the final product. The product quality will be lower and will be also look visually less attractive. Now we're already at the end of this module. We saw that conditioning aims to increase product quality and product purity. Perching is a good practice for selling live BSF larvae. Sanitizing is recommended when BSF larvae are post-processed. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF bio-waste processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. Both of these materials were part of the FORWARD project by EWAC in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.